the unemployment rate in San Diego hits 24.7%, according to an estimate by the San Diego Association of Governments. That means one in four workers are without jobs in San Diego. 430,000 people jobless in the city. Just for context, one month ago, the unemployment rate in San Diego was 4.9%. It skyrocketed 20% in the space of four weeks, thanks to the government-mandated lockdowns. Again, for context, the worst unemployment rate during the Great Depression was 25%. Maybe you don't need me to tell you this. Maybe you already know this. Maybe somebody in your family has lost their job or had their hours cut or been furloughed. Maybe your spouse. Maybe you lost your job. But what politicians won't tell you is why. So let's back up. The U.S. economy as a whole shrunk 4.8% in the first quarter of 2020. That's the worst economic contraction since the Great Recession. And it's going to be even worse because the economic lockdowns were not imposed until halfway through March, which really means the 4.8% contraction happened just in this first month of lockdowns. Extrapolate that to quarter two, and the economy could shrink up to 30, 35, 40%. And here's the thing. Some critics might say, yeah, the economy took a hit thanks to the COVID-19 virus. No, no. This was not because of the virus. This impending economic devastation is thanks to politicians, who, by the way, are still collecting their paychecks. And here's the proof. Healthcare spending was down 4.9% in quarter one. Healthcare spending during a pandemic down by 4.9%. Nearly half of the quarter one decline in GDP is in the healthcare sector during a pandemic. Why? Because politicians canceled most elective surgical procedures at hospitals. Politicians prohibited hospitals from allowing non-emergent surgeries. If a surgery could be scheduled in advance, many state and local governments outright banned it. Need your brain tumor removed? Sorry, that might be banned. Need an organ transplant? Sorry, that's not allowed. Need a mastectomy for breast cancer? Sorry, that's non-emergent. Need a biopsy to see if that strange symptom is cancer? Sorry, we're too busy saving lives to save your life. These elective surgeries account for up to 80% of hospital revenue. It was politicians who inflicted this damage on our economy, not a virus. Here are the facts. Our hospitals are not overwhelmed to the point of collapse from COVID-19. Not one person in our nation who needed a ventilator or critical ICU care has been denied. In fact, hundreds of hospitals across the nation have furloughed and laid off healthcare workers because the hospitals don't have any patients because state and local governments have prohibited most elective or non-essential surgeries and procedures at hospitals. In fact, even Quest Diagnostics, who's processed 40% of COVID-19 tests in our country, is furloughing their employees, cutting pay, dismissing temporary workers and cutting overtime because they have no profit from the regular tests they perform to earn the money to pay their employees. 95% of private general practices in California say they're worried about the financial health of their business, their practice, thanks to the financial hit from the lockdowns. 25% of rural hospitals are at risk of closing down permanently because they can't afford to stay open because 80 to 90% of their revenue is from so-called elective procedures. And hospitals and ERs, meanwhile, across the nation are sitting empty. This is why the healthcare sector in our country is taking such a hit. This is why nearly half of the quarter one decline in GDP is in the healthcare sector. It's not from the virus, it's from politicians.